Now in this section of the tutorial creating puzzle border we will go over how to set up a stroke for a border, how to change the color properties uh, for a border, and how to draw a border around the puzzle. Okay, over in the properties we're going to click the square. We're going to turn off the fill. We're going to turn the stroke on to black. Then we're going to up the stroke to 10 points. Okay, now with the draw tool from the corner of the puzzle, we're going to drag it just around the outside of the puzzle. And then there's your border. In this section of the tutorial, we will go over how to record the pieces locations, how to create targets and turn them into symbols, how to properly name the symbols and instances of the targets, how to align the targets onto the pieces using the recorder locations. Open up a notepad on your computer and then what you're going to want to do is click on one piece of the puzzle and record from the properties its X location and its Y location coordinates. You're going to do that with each puzzle piece. Make sure you label which puzzle piece it is and where what it belongs to based off of the symbol names. Now create a new layer named targets for all of our targets to go on. Make sure that your border layer is locked and that your pieces layer is locked. After click on your box drawing tool. Give your box that you're going to create as your targets a bright color for the fill and another bright different color for the stroke so that way we're able to recognize them. Go ahead and draw that box that's going to be your target. And Now remember the size of the box will help the puzzle either be more difficult or less difficult. Big box, easier puzzle. Small box, a little bit more challenging. Right click, go down to convert to symbol. You're going to want to make it a movie click symbol named target underscore MC. Now this time when we name the target instance, we're going to make it a little bit different of a name. It's going to be target one underscore MC. Now on your properties panel, click on the library tab. What you're going to do is you're going to drag the target underscore MC symbol onto the page and you're going to do this for a however many pieces you have in your puzzle. Now I have four puzzle pieces, so I've dragged four over onto my page. And you're going to have to give each of them a unique instance name. So I'm doing on the instance name, target 2 underscore MC, target 3 underscore MC, and target 4 underscore MC. So they have the, almost the same name, but their numbers are going to match their puzzle numbers. Now click on one target, click on target one, and we're going to give it the same XY properties as piece one. Now that will end up centering your target onto its pu corresponding puzzle piece. Do this with all four targets. 